So welcome to my review of the KZZNA. These are a more affordable hybrid. So it's a one balanced armature, one dynamic driver, and it's a 12 millimeter dynamic, so it's one of the big ones. And yet, as usual, full disclaimer, I'd like to thank uh, KZ themselves for sending me uh, this unit to try out, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's get into it. So like I said in the introduction, these are more of a budget kind of priced item. Uh, looks a bit like the ZIX, I think, from the back. No mic, obviously black specs. So, okay, it's a bit different. So impedance is 34 ohms, which is kind of high. Well, higher for them. 20 to 40,000 hertz. All the other stuff's normal. Shall we, well, the standard, shall we say, from KZ and CCA. Sensitivity is 112. So... Let it focus. Don't forget the original intention of using earphones is to enjoy music. That's right. They do look kind of cool. So that's what these look like. It's the, it's the same kind of cheapo packaging they normally use. Okay, so these comes with different tips. So these are really wide bore. I guess they might have picked these to help tame low end. So yeah, that's it. It's a very dark black. This is the, this kind of vent is like. Not ready for tuning, oh yeah. You can see it's one of the big boy DDs. Just about make it out. So yeah, normal normal nozzle. Balanced armature is right down there. You can make it out by my little finger. Yeah, just there. So there's no behind the nozzle, which is good. So at least that's a good start. So you get paperwork. Warranty information, tips. So yeah, it uses these kind of blue ones. Uh, let's see what the cable is. Because these days they tend to use a silver one and sometimes it's kind of like a bronze kind of colored one. This looks like the silver one they normally use. So yeah, so that's the silver cable. Very common these days, it's okay. At least it's got a uh, a right angle connector and that's it so mine's the no mic version and yeah so i'm gonna graph them spend some time with them the usual stuff blah 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 and yeah so out of the box for an affordable item they do look fine you can see it's got a big dynamic driver i don't know if it's the same as what was used in the i think the zes from about nearly 12 months ago or the esx so yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, gals in the next clip. Yes, yeah, so welcome to my review section, the KZZNA, a hybrid. So it's one DD and one balanced armature. And you can see the, just a bit of seat here, just just there, my left finger. So let's go into build. Um, it seems pretty fine. All this stuff is just for like basically styling. There's a vent there. It doesn't, I don't think it doesn't really seem to do much really. So yeah comes with these different tips so normally when you go wide ball as in really wide like that i think it's to help lower the low end which it hasn't really done but i'll talk about that in the sound but builds fine comfort on these it, they're a little bit heavy um they're heavier than what i expect but i didn't really have any issues with it at all and yeah you can see it's a normal shape as well so no problem at all so pounds pound sensitivity i didn't really have any issues there either it didn't really seem as hard as it suggested with the 32 ohm in, um, impedance. I these felt pretty normal to me. I try all, with all my normal gear, like I normally say, and it's fine. Like I had no issues, like at all. Um, so, timbre. What do these sound like? Now there is a BA, so this will never ever sound as good as I'd say the their single DD models always sound kind of more uh, natural than these can. And that's it really so i'm so i'm surprised why they did the big dd and the armature but i don't know but this is just it is what it is unfortunately so micro details i thought was okay i found i think that's probably the armature doing the job always does a little bit better than a um a dynamic especially a big dynamic i think smaller the dd the better but from what i found but yeah not too kind of average really um 
yeah so stage so sound stage on these i thought was okay i would have heard a bit more but it's 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 enough like it, they're not like earbuds which have a much bigger stage um but yeah is okay nothing amazing same for, for imaging and yeah just get straight into the same really so overlay the graph name and yeah so a bit of a disappointment but i'll talk about that in a bit so bass uh, as usual there seems to be a lot of it i think that kind of helps contradict the lower treble boost but i'll talk about that in a bit so a lot of bass doesn't tail off or anything so yeah like any other kz and cci these are very on the base side i think more balance would have helped but it is what it is the, the, the initial slam is fine like all basic hazards are and that's it to say kind of nothing special just kind of normal shall we say so yeah keep it brief nothing bad or worse it's just kind of the similar what they normally do so mid-range is scooped as you can see um not what i prefer but it it is what they are a lot of kz models are um recessed in the mid-range and this is unfortunately no different but it's not too bad or obviously these are i think 20 dollars or so so they're not an expensive model but i think a bit more of a balanced tuning is probably more preference from what they would do instead of the normal kind of b shapes but it's, it's okay obviously female vocals are forward and some male ones are it can seem quite thick but again there's probably a bit too much bleed from the um from the bass but that's it really so probably on to now the worst part which is the treble now you've got the elevation and then it drops off like a lot so i don't know why they chose this model because they're, they're single dd models typically um have a better treble response than this so you get the kind of details you get from that lower the presence part um and then some on some tracks it just things seem like they're missing obviously the 8k is from the coupler but you can imagine it just goes off a lot um not not the not my preferred tuning i'm not sure why they did this maybe just to maybe keep the hybrid models going i'm not quite sure uh but yet yeah, separation was okay i guess because it uses um so the armature probably helps obviously that big dd is there for the base as you can probably tell but yeah, no, I'll just say really, it's kind of an average release. I think their single DD models are still probably better. And yeah, not much to say really, just kind of average release. Probably a little bit disappointing considering how it's gone off like a cliff, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, no, not much to say really, there's not much, they're not special. So, conclusion do I really recommend these? Uh, not really, no. I, I don't know why they even made these considering they have um a lot of dd models single d dynamic drive models which have a lot more which i think are tuned better and a better extension um and it falls off like a cliff but yeah the, the dd part seems good like obviously i've tried this with my usual electronic music and the dynamic driver part seems solid i don't know why they added the ba i don't think they really needed it or they've added it to try and cross over with the crossover kind of tune another part out i'm not quite sure but yeah they're i'm a little bit disappointed they're not ultimately that bad but they've done better for the, the same price or less they do look pretty good though they are you know they've got neat, nice styling and they come with some different tips which may be really good for you but overall it's kind of a normal release i think it could have been better uh and that's it really not much to say really i wasn't really impressed by what they've done but i think they really need a more balanced tuning so they need less low end less lower treble a bit more upper treble to balance this kind of signature out is what i would like to see so that's it if you want to know anything in particular um let me know in the comments as usual and yeah thanks for watching take care see you in the next video